Now, many of you know that I love a self-defense gadget. I find them very, very interesting. And one of my favorite organizations that make cool stuff that's in the vintage kind of vein that I like is Nephilim Canes. And if any of you remember, I did a video a little while ago about this, the 221B cane, which is lovely, beautiful, beautiful piece of work. So if you haven't seen the video on that, go check it out. But this is a fantastic Bartitsu Vigny historic cane. It really does mean the business. Well, the guys got in touch and they told me that they launched something new, something very, very interesting. And that is the Nephilim Montana. The reason why it's called a Montana is because you say hello to your little friend. And in this instance, what a friend it is. So as you can see here, it's a pen-like Coubertin. So it does not function as a pen, but it makes a bloody good job of looking like one. It's got this beautiful, uh, you know, this engraving kind of marks in here into the pen clip. Uh, the business end up the top, this is brass, and it moves down to steel here. Weighs about 90 grams at length, 135 millimeters. Uh, it's approximately 12 millimeters in diameter. So if you consider that in comparison to my hand, about so. So it's essentially very much pen shaped. It's a little bit, you know, it's on the chunkier side for a pen. That's precisely what you want because you don't want it sliding through its grip because obviously this is something designed for personal self-defense, personal self-protection. Now, obviously there's different laws that apply for different areas, but I don't really care about those in this instance. I really just want to focus on the very cool item. So as you can see here, it's a carbon fiber body. Um, it's very pretty. It's very, very nice. And it's got these steel and kind of bronze caps. Very, very nice. Now, obviously, methodologies for using this, the reason why you've got the slightly chunkier weighted ends is typically use them in this fashion. You typically cap the thumb here and use this as a extra striking surface, typically aiming for hard bony bits of your opponent's body. So against the jawline, in extremis, the temple, come down onto the collarbone. You've got all manner, you know, cracking down onto the hands, the forearm, there's all manner of places, but typically with a weapon like this, it's for the harder, bonier parts of the human body. Some arts more traditionally do not cap the end, but literally if you've ever done any type of contact resistance training with these, capping it is the key. And therefore anything that you can hammer fist, you could easily force multiply with this wonderful tool. Uh, what I really like about it is how robust it is as well. It's a solid bit of kit because you find that a lot of the kind of copper towns and things like that, some of them are lighter plastic. Others, they, you know, they're stupid. They've got extra sharp points at the end, which basically makes it a knife. You know, this is a very good blunt force impact tool. Force multiply, it's very, very nice. It fits very, very nicely. I've given it a good going against the heavy bag, against hard targets cracked up a bit of coconut with it, you know, it's a, it's a good solid tool. It fits, grips and hits very, very, very nicely. And on top of that, which is very, very important, it is rather elegant too. It's rather pretty. You can have it in your pocket, in your books. You can take it with you when you travel, depending on where you're traveling to. It's just a very cool bit of kit. So if you're interested in historical martial arts, if you're interested in steampunky type stuff, if you're interested in Victorian kind of Bartitsu, things like that, defense dance room, then you'll probably very much like the aesthetic of this Nephilim Montana. And if you've got the cane, it makes a perfect gentleman's companion item too. So I very much encourage you to go on the Facebook page, Nephilim Composite Canes, and you'll be able to find all the details and find something cool for you. But I very much love this handy little evil pen. It's fantastic. Enjoy.